At Antimark, we take pride in being in touch and open with our community. We want to give you a better idea of what we're working on in our humble home of Kokomo, Indiana. As a company, we have decades of experience in competitive robotics and want to share that with you. Every two weeks at 7 p.m., you can join us here to talk about First Tech Challenge. So Danny is our First Tech Challenge expert here at Andymark. He really cares about team experience, so he tries to rip the game apart and see what's wrong with it, and see what the teams are going to get frustrated with, or see what's right with it, or what needs improvement. And then he goes into field design after he's digested what the idea of the game should be. And one of the funny things about that is his favorite color is orange, which is their program color. What's my favorite color? I like um, NASA spacesuit pumpkin orange. Uh, FTC orange is another good color. Um, there's, there's a lot of really good colors out there. So it kind of is a good fit for him to be our tech challenge expert. First robotics competition. Who do I think of when you think FRC? Uh, everybody, like that's the company, that's the point of us. Can I talk about stuff or no? Uh, kind of everybody is involved with FRC development from the ME and the EE department and even beyond. Um, so everybody in the ME, uh, that'd be uh, Nick and Nathan uh, and Danny as well and myself. Engineering and the website. All right, Jerry, yeah, Jerry is our director of engineering, but really he should be our director of everything here at Andy Mark. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Jerry is one of the most energetic people I know. When he gets really excited or passionate about something he's confident in, he like triples his speed. Testing and prototyping. Um, I usually break the first prototype and then everyone gets mad at me. So. so whenever you hand Nathan anything to look at, you always have to caution him, don't disassemble it or break it, because he will, because he wants to see how it works and it happens a lot, especially with my electronics. Last year, he did a lot of testing on our compliant wheels to see how long they lasted, how fast they can spin, how much destruction they can handle before they literally explode. We, we try as hard as we can to break a lot of stuff. You blow it up? Probably can't use that word. Electrical engineering. I mean, they're in their own little cubby hole, but uh, they, they make the little electrical pixies fly around and do the things and make the lights blink. Rick dreams huge, like not big, but like huge. Rick is like my favorite mad scientist type person where he loves throwing a bunch of stuff together that he doesn't even know if it's going to work, whether it be both mechanical or electrical. I mean, he's an electrical person for Randy Mark, but as a first robotics competition mentor, he definitely likes to get his hands dirty in all parts of the robots. He does um, everything from circuit boards to programming to um, anything you can think of with electrical engineering. Robot component applications, even marketing things like graphic design. Liz. <laughs> I work with her a lot on graphics. Um, I guess my main project is the Artie, so when we need graphics for the battery or a sticker or some of the packaging for that, she's the one to go to for those things. Uh, Liz does a lot of our phone calls um, and takes care of a lot of uh, a lot of customer issues and uh, how, how do I build my robot issues. That I think is an under underappreciated art of how like assembly guidelines, like I think to uh, like Ikea and how their pictures are and how you put things together and like those are so easy to understand that if you can get anybody to understand how to put something together through pictures then it transcends all, all boundaries. Liz is definitely a nerd translator. And what we can still learn from the early days of FIRST. I met Kevin when I was a freshman in high school, but that was, it was 2008. Um, he was on Team 71 um, from Hammond, Indiana, and he uh, has won the World Championship twice, which is ex uh, definitely impressive, uh, especially, uh, I don't know, if you're not cheesy poof, I guess. He's not quite as uh, much of an old timer as Baker is, but he's one of the old timers here um, at Andy Mark. He's been in the game for uh, a real long time. Um, and every now and again, you know, we, we bust out his walker and, and parade him around, you know, and getting him to tell the Baker and Mandy sort of stories. <laughs> um, in terms of first, I've been around a while. Like, I'm of the Epcot age, so. A lot of people aren't these days. Along with updates on our new products, what's going on in the community today, and what we're doing about it. Each show will be about a half an hour of content followed by Q&A from you. 
We'll also have special broadcasts. You've already seen Fight Night. And on September 8th at 2 p.m. Eastern, there'll be a special First Tech Challenge post kickoff show, giving teams a closer look at the field and its components. Each regularly scheduled episode will also include instructional or informational video for one of our products. If you are able to watch the show live, you can watch it later on our YouTube channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. The cool thing about this is it's going to be live, so we don't really know exactly what to expect, so there might be surprises along the way. So I hope you can join us.